Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Line Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting an 1,850-point battle between my blips, just getting the Gene Sealer cult here, against Greg's Ultramarines. So the story that we've got going on here uh, is that this uh, was a Prometheum uh, 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 plant in the middle of a jungle that the workers uh, revolted and turns out that they were even more revolting than normal and turned out to be a gene stealer cult uprising in the facility here so they rose up took over the facility and started to uh, expand uh, their uh, their revolution around the planet and the ultramarines were sent in to go clear it out and Gilliman himself decided to go and uh, make a point of, of of what happens when you rise up against the emperor and the imperium so that's the story that we've got going on here uh, we are going to be playing uh, one of the missions from uh, Chapter Approved 2018. This is going to be the four pillars. So there are four objectives on the table here. We've got one right here, one right here, one right there, and one right there. Essentially, at the end of each battle round, uh, if you control um, more, if you control, uh, what was it, at least something, um, if you... Uh, if uh, one player controls more objective markers than their opponent, they score one victory point. And if they control all four objective markers, they score three victory points. But they can only be held by troops. So it's only troops that can hold these objective markers. Um, so if you control more than your opponent, you score a victory point. If you control um, all of them, you get three victory points at the end of the battle round. Also at the end of each battle round, uh, whoever killed more units than their opponent gets a victory point as well. And then there's the usual, you know, Slay the Warlord, First Strike, and Line Breaker, along with all of these. So, that is the story. That is the mission. Before we go any further, though, let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out. So, for the Gene Stealer Cult, I'll be running two battalion detachments. First battalion detachment will be led by a Patriarch, a Magus, and a Primus. We have three Acolyte squads, one 10-man with Hand Flamers, one 5-man Bare Bones, and one 16-man with five heavy rock saws and an icon. We have a Clamavis, we have a Nexus, we have a Kelomorph, and we have a Sanctus. We have an Achilles Ridge Runner. For the 2nd Battalion Detachment, we have a Patriarch, a uh, Abominant, and a Magus. We have a Clamavis, we have a Kelomorph, and a Biophages. We have three 10-man Brood Brother squads. One squad has two Flamers, one squad has two Grenade Launchers, and the third squad has one Grenade Launcher. We have a squad of Aberrants. Eight of them have Power Picks, and then one is a Hypermorph with an improvised heavy weapon. We have a heavy weapons team with Mortars. And last but not least, we have a Rock Grinder with a Clearance Incinerator. So for the Ultramarines, he'll be running a Battalion Detachment and a Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment. Leading off the Battalion Detachment, we have a Chaplain with a Jump Pack and Tigerius. We have three five-man Intercessor squads. Two of the squads have Auxiliary Grenade Launchers. We have the Vicatrix Guard. We have two squads of Scout Bikers with Shotguns and the Sergeants have Storm Bolters. We have three-man squad of Suppressors. We have a Thunder Fire Cannon. We have a Leviathan Dreadnought with dual storm cannons. We have a Repulsor Executioner. And last but not least, we have Gilliman. All right, so going over deployment now, I've got a whole bunch of blips here. Uh, I've got a, a, essentially half my army is gonna be underground and the half are here represented by blips. Uh, but now going over deployment for the Ultramarines, he has one of his uh, intercessor squads over here. He's got a second intercessor squad in the uh, trees over here. He's got his uh, jump chaplain over here, his suppressors right behind him. We've got the two squads of uh, scout bikers back over here. The Victrix Guard, Tigerius and Gilliman all in a line over here. We got the Leviathan, the Executioner, the last uh, squad of, of um, what are they called? Uh, intercessors, I just said it multiple times before. And then we've got the Thunderfire Cannon back here in the corner. Uh, so that is going to be the deployment. Uh, as of right now, Ultramarines are gonna be going first because uh, the way this mission works is it's full deployment and uh, if you deployed first you get to go first unless I can seize the initiative So I am going to be looking for a six show me that fill first New no fill phase so we'll come back to you after movement phase for the ultramarines here on turn one All right, so going over the ultramarines here is thunderfire cannon stayed back there He moved uh, the intercessor squad moved up over here your repulsor. I think just stayed still right right over here Greg 
the no, repulsor? The repulsor moved as well? All right, percent. moved a, up a bit. These guys all moved up a bit. Everyone just basically kind of just moved up the board a little bit over here. They spread out to try to screen out some of my deep strikers, and that is going to be it. So now we'll come back to you after I reveal all my blips. All right, so the, uh, the sort of deployment, uh, resolving the blips here. I've got my Nexus here. I've got my heavy weapon squad here. Another squ a squad of Blue Brood Brothers down there, Brood Brothers down there, Brood Brothers up here. My Sanctus is up here. I've got my Rock Grinder with a five-man Acolyte squad inside there. And I got my Ridge Runner back over here. Everything else is in Deep Strike. I had um, the Aberrants. I spent one CP to bring the Aberrants and the two Patriarchs back into Deep Strike uh, with that stratagem. So that is where they are. Also, when he came down, he did a perfect ambush. So we are going to roll for him. He's going to take a shot into... Uh, his chaplain there. So it's going to be one shot hitting on a two. That is a hit. Strength four, toughness four, so four to wound. But he's got the uh, the um, the relic that gives him plus two to wound. So looking for a two to wound. That is a wound. No mortal wound though. Uh, AP minus one. So he'll have his uh, three up armor, uh, four up save. Because AP minus one. No, that goes through. So D3 damage. Two damage. Yeah. All right. So into the psychic phase, he's going. Uh, Tigerius is going to cast uh, uh, Scryer's Gaze here. So what are you looking for? Uh, six. Looking for a six to go off. It's a seven, but he's plus one. Seven with a uh, plus one because of him. So no, on a five, it will not go off. But Tigerius gets to re-roll. There we go. And now he's going to cast Psychic Assault onto my Brood Brothers down over here. So it's looking for uh, looking for a seven, but he's looking for a six because he gets plus one. That will go off here. So now he rolls two d six plus two to this result. Uh, so uh, five total, they're good. They're, uh, what would happen is you roll 2d6, add two to it, and any point over their leadership, they would take a mortal wound, but they are uh, good to go. All right, so into the shooting phase. His suppressors here are going to fire into my Achilles Ridge Runner. These guys are going to be hitting on uh, fours because they move with a heavy weapon. Oof, that's how you do that. Holy cow, Greg. And these are going to be strength what again? Seven. Strength seven, but they have the litany of... Um, the litany of whatever plus one to wound onto them so strength seven toughness five looking for uh would be threes become twos to wound over here that is going to be uh all but two there so that's going to be four re wounds re-rolling because of gilliman over there just re-rolling ones to wound because of gilliman all right so that's going to be six wounds what's the ap on these minus three it's ap minus three because of that but they get plus one because of cover there so it's going to be six um whatchamacallit six six ups I make one of them. What's the damage on these? Two damage a piece. Yeah, he is uh, way dead. I don't think explosion is going to make a difference, but that is first strike. All right, so his uh, biker squad that's over here is going to fire into these guys. So one of them, one of the guys is out of range there, uh, but now they're going to be firing into them. They uh, he spent uh, CP to pop them into the tactical uh, doctrine for this phase here. So these are going to be hitting on um, what we call it, hitting on threes. Are you rolling? All right, that's going to be all hits. Strength four, toughness three, so looking for threes to wound. All righty, re-rolling ones because of Gilliman. So that's going to be uh, three wounds over there. These are going to be AP minus one because they're in tactical doctrine there. So looking for six up saves. Making one, failing two. All righty, so now his dude bro over here, his repulsor executioner is going to fire. He's going to fire the uh, laser destroyer into my rock grinder. He's going to fire his uh, the storm bolters, heavy bolters, the iron hail, and the uh, twin Icarus iron hail into my brood brothers up on top here. And he's going to fire his onslaught Gatling cannon into my brood brothers down over here. So what do you want to start with? We're going to start with the um, the uh, laser destroyer over here. You can fire twice since he only moved half his uh, less than half his movement pace. So hitting on threes, re-rolling because of Gilliman. All right, not meant to be. So that's two hits. Strength. 10, so threes to wound. Uh, that is re-rolling ones because of Gilman. Uh, nope, not meant to be, so that's one there. AP, AP minus four, so that's gonna go straight through. What's the damage? D6, so that's six damage. I've got six um, rugged construction ignoring wounds to roll here, looking for sixes. Uh, ignoring one of them, so he takes five damage. And now the twin heavy vultures firing into my brood brothers up top here. Uh, re-rolling because of Gilman. All right, that's going to be all hits. These are going to be strength five, so threes to wound. We're rolling one because of Gillen. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five. At AP minus two, 
uh, plus one because they are in cover. So we have five um, six up saves. Making one of them, four dead. And then the twin uh, Icarus they're gonna find here, hitting on fours because it's not fly. But getting all the hits anyway. Strength four, I believe, right? Yeah, four, so looking for threes to wound. That's gonna be four wounds. AP minus two, so it's looking for six ups because they are in cover. Uh, not getting any of them. And then the storm bolters are gonna fire into them as well, four shots. That is gonna be uh, re-rolling because of Gilliman. That's gonna be three hits. Strength four, threes to wound. That is gonna be three wounds. Looking for uh, four up saves because they are in cover. Making them all, woo! And then the regular iron hail sever is firing into him. That's gonna be re-rolling. That's all hits. Strength four, threes to wound. That is gonna be uh, two wounds there. AP minus two, plus one because they're in cover. Getting one save. Bike squad over there is going to fire into the Brood Brothers squad down on the bottom over here. So these are going to be, uh, there's going to be, uh, what is it, two shot, three shotguns and a storm bolter. Oh no, three bike, uh, three twin um, bolt guns, two shotguns and a storm bolter are going to be firing into me over here. Um, so they did move, so they don't get, uh, oh no, but they're bikers, so they uh, they get the uh, the rapid, uh, the bolter shots are all going to be having, um, four shots each for them so we'll come back to you with that so the shotguns are not coming into this at all they're not in range over here just the other just the twin bolters and the storm bolter so these are all going to be hitting on threes re-rolling because of gilliman over there yeah. all right all but one hit these are now strength four so threes to wound all right, and these are not um, in the tactical doctrine, so these are not going to be looking for. Um, uh, these are not going to be rolling the one, and there's another one over there that you that can roll the wound. Oh, is that oh, okay? Uh, so that's going to be three, six, nine, ten saves we got to make over here. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are going to be looking for uh, four up saves uh, because they are in cover. Failed one, two, three, four, five of them. So five dead. This infantry squad over here, uh, the intercessor squad is going to fire into my brood brothers down over here. Three of them can see. So we're going to fire those shots. That's going to be rerolling because of Gilliman. Yeah. All right. So it's going to be two hits. That is one wound there. AP minus one because it's an intercessor uh, with a bolt rifle, plus one because they're in cover. Five up. No dead. All right, and this squad over here is going to fire. The two on the side there are going to fire into the guy up here because they can see him. The other three are going to fire into him because they can't see him. So here we go. We're going to go do the two at the top, hitting on threes, re rolling. Nope. Are they, what's the range? One for Gilman because of 12. What's it? Oh, it's within 12 of Gilman there. So looking for uh, ones, re rolling the ones there. So that's going to be two hits. Strength uh, four, so threes to wound. There's going to be two wounds, AP minus one, plus one because they're in cover, five ups. No, he did. And the other three are going to fire into my rock grinder over here. That is going to be uh, re-rolling ones because of Gillen. Nope, two hits. Five wounds, that's one wound, AP minus one. Not a save, six up ignoring wounds. Yeah, with a fail first. All right, so now his Thunderfire cannon is going to fire. My opponent spent two CP on Suppression Fire, which allows him to fire twice. He's going to fire once into my Brood Brother squad here, and another time into my uh, Mortar squad over here. So let's go with the uh, into the Brood Brother squad first. So that's going to be, what is that, 10, 17, right? Is it, or is it D3? D3. D3. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots. All right, these are going to be hitting on twos. That is going to be all hits. These are now Strength 4, right? Oh, strike five, so threes to wound. All righty, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. AP, two. AP minus two, plus one, because they're in cover over here. So that is gonna be uh, looking for six ups. Making three of them, so three are dead. And then the shots into my mortar squad over here. He's gonna get uh, three, six, nine, 10, 11 shots. All right, these are gonna be hitting on twos. All right, so that's two misses there. These are now going to be uh, strength five, so th uh, threes to wound. All righty, these are AP minus two, um, and that's gonna be, uh, how many is that? Six, which is enough to kill these guys. So now Gilliman's gonna fire into my brood brother down over here. That is all hits, strength six, so twos to wound. That's all wounds, AP 
one. Minus one, plus one because they're in cover there, so five up saves. I, I don't know. Actually, they might. Uh, failed two, he's dead. All right, so now it's Leviathan Dreadnought's going to fire into my Brood Brothers squad over here. These are going to be hitting on twos. Oh, no, threes because he moved, right? But re-rolling once because of Gilliman over there. What's that? No. Oh. Oh, Gilliman's changed now where it's just reroll hits. No longer reroll uh, failed hits. So he's going to be rerolling everything. So hitting on threes because he moved, but rerolling everything because of Gilliman's newly worded uh, abilities there. And there's one more there. Yep. Those, these are now going to be, uh, yeah, still looking for uh, threes. All right, let's get go. That's all the hits. What are these strength? Seven. So looking for twos to wound on my dude bros over here. Well, I'll come back to that. All right, all right these are now going to be wounding on twos. We're rolling ones because of Gilliman there. Ooh, boy. Yeah, they're AP minus three. So, uh, boom, he, they did. All right, and that's going to be the end of the Ultramarine's turn here. Uh, at the uh, So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult. All right, so movement phase, he's going to stay here. He's going to stay here, and he moved up to there, and that's it. That's all I got moving here. So we'll come back to you with the shooting phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn one. All right, so now this uh, Rock Rider here is going to fire his Heavy Stubber into those guys over there. Three shots, hitting on sixes because he moved, and he's in his second bracket. Get into it. <laughs> that wasn't going to hit anyway. And then my uh, Sanctus is going to fire into the Chaplain, uh, hitting on a two. That is a hit with a fill face, looking for uh, a two to wound. Uh, with a five, so that's going to be a mortal wound because it's plus two, so it becomes a seven plus. So that's going to be one mortal wound, and then it's AP minus one, so looking for a four up save on him. No, fails that one, so it's just the one wound. He is dead. Oh, you're going to spend a CP? All right, my opponent's going to spend a CP to reroll that. Into a three, so he's still going to be dead. All right, so that's going to be it for the Gene Stealer Cult turn here. At the end of the battle round, my opponent controls uh, two objectives. So he controls more objectives than me, gets one point for the primary there. He also killed like a gajillion D of my units. I killed one of his, so he gets one point for there. So giving him a total of three points to my zero points. Uh, or I guess, uh, no, I got first strike. I get, I get to get first strike for there, so I forgot about that. So yeah, first strike, we'll go with that, fine. <laughs> but yes, uh, so one point for me. My opponent got first strike, my opponent uh, got that. So he's actually at four points with uh, all the points that he has there because of first strike. So we'll come back to you after uh, movement phase for the uh, Ultramarines here on turn two. Movement phase for the Ultramarines here. These guys shuffled around over here. The bikers are following up, everybody moving up this way. Everybody's just kind of like shuffling up together in a little ball of doom. These guys fell back over the, or fell back, just moved back over this way, and this Thunderfire Cannon stood still. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We will come back to you with the Psychic phase. All right, so Psychic phase, he's going to cast, what is it called again? Something, um, Scryer's Gaze. Scryer's Gaze, so he's going to try to get himself a CP there. Looking for six, uh, goes off. All right, so now his repulsor here is going to fire into my dude bro over here. Because it's in uh, Tactical Doctrine, Ultramarines count as having not moved at all uh, in the movement phase. So it's pretty cool here. So he's going to be firing everything into my uh, rock grinder over here. So we're going to go with the double shots from the main cannon here. So that's going to be uh, hitting on uh, threes, re-rolling because of Gilliman. That's all hits. These are going to be strength, what is it, 10? So threes to wound. Uh, that is going to be three wounds over there. AP minus... Four. Four or is it three now? Still oh, it's still, four. oh, still four. It's five uh, during the uh, Devastator Doctrine. So that's gonna go straight through the armor. So these are D6 wounds a piece, correct? One second. All right, so we got D6 wounds a piece coming in for these guys here. So that's gonna be uh, three of them in Actually, there. He's dead. No, I got. I can ignore wounds. Well, it's minimum. Well, yeah, it's I can ignore three. minimum three. So that's gonna be uh, three, six, nine wounds coming in over here. Uh, so I can I ignore on a six up. So I need to get five of these six for him to still be alive. So let's see what happens. No, I only get two. So he is dead. Uh, blowing up, I don't think he's within range to do anything there. So we'll come back to that. And two of my guys, uh, Twisted Ankle's getting out of there. So now these guys are gonna fire into them over here. Uh, because they don't count as moving, they get the uh, the better bolter beta rule. So these are going to be, no more, I guess no longer beta, but just better bolter rule. <laughs> so these are gonna be firing in here, hitting on uh, threes, rerolling because of Guillemot. Or really ones because of Gilliman. Uh, these are now going to be uh, strength four threes to wound. That is going to be uh, one, two, three, four wounds there. AP minus one, so looking, uh, AP minus two because of Assault Doctrine, so that uh, Tactical Doctrine. So that's actually going to go straight through and kill them all. All right, so now the Suppressors here are going to fire into my Sanctus up over here. So they're going to be firing, hitting on uh, threes because they count as not having moved. 
That's all hits there. These are strength seven, correct? So these are going to be looking for twos to wound. That is going to be uh, six wounds, AP. AP minus two, plus two because of um, uh, the camel cloak that he's got there. So this is going to be six, uh, five up saves. Failed enough that he is, yeah, yeah, he's dead. He did. Burr, burr. And now the Thunderfire Cannon here is going to fire into my Nexos. Uh, so it's going to be D3 shots each. So that's going to be one, two, three, four shots. Fair enough. These are now going to be uh, looking for threes to, uh, twos to hit. Forgot about that. Uh, so that's going to be three hits. Strength, um, what is it, strength five. So two wounds there. AP one. So looking for six up saves. Failed both of those. What's the damage on that? Just one apiece? One apiece, so he takes two damage. All right, that's going to be it for the Ultramarines because you can't see anyone since he's the only one that's left here and he's hidden back behind his rock over here. The Thunderfire Cannon um, had the misfire there. So that's going to be about it. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult here on turn uh, on turn two. <laughs> All right, movement phase for the um, uh, Gene Stealer Cult here on turn two. These guys dropped in over here, spent two CP to drop outside, just outside of three inches of these guys over here. Um, he dropped in nine inches away from him over here. Magos dropped in over, back over here. He stayed still. These guys, so a Keller Morph, uh, the Patriarch, the Primus, the Magus, the uh, Clamavis, and the other... Uh, Killer Morph all dropped in over there, as did my 16-man uh, um, Acolyte squad and my uh, bunch of Aberrants over here along with the Biophagus and the Clamavis and my Abominant. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the Psychic phase. So at the end of the movement phase, my Biophagus is going to try to uh, enhance this squad over here. And on five, they're good to go. So then uh, D3 to see what uh, enhancement they get. On a two, that's going to be plus one toughness. So they will be tough five. All right, start off the psychic phase. Uh, my patriarch is going to cast uh, Might from Beyond onto my dude bros over here. Uh, on a seven, that will go off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast um, uh, Mass Hypnosis from my, uh, my Magus onto his uh, suppressors over there. That will not go off with a five. And he is going to cast Mental Onslaught onto him. Ooh, double one will not pay. I'm going to spend a CP to reroll one of those into a two. So he doesn't blow up, but it doesn't go off. And then my Magus here is going to cast Mind Control onto his Repressor over here. That will go off with a 10. So uh, Tigerius is going to try to deny it. So he's looking for a 10 on the dice because he gets plus one to this roll. Does not get it. So that will go off. One second. My opponent's going to spend a command point to re-roll one of those dice. No, does not. So he will be my control. All right. So he is going to fire his uh, laser destroyer into uh, his into his Leviathan here. He's going to fire um, the Onslaught Gatling Cannon into his Vicatrix Guard. And he's going to fire the uh, Iron Hails and the uh, Icarus Iron Hails and the Twin Heavy Bolters. Uh, Wait, no, the Icarus, iron, the, the three different Iron Hail shots there, so the twin Icarus and the one regular are going to go into the Vicatrix Guard. The Storm Bolters and the Heavy Bolters are going to go into his Scout Bike Squad back over there. Icarus and the Icarus Rocket Pods will go uh, into the Bikers as well. They're so it's, they're going to be hitting on fours. So. All right, so we're going to go with the uh, Laser Destroyer first. So because uh, he uh, did not move more than half, he gets to fire it twice here. These are going to be hitting on uh, threes. No rerolls because uh, Gilliman's not mine. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be three hits. These are strength ten, so wounding on threes. That is going to be one wound at AP minus uh, four. So he's got his invul save, right? And on five, he's good to go. Now the onslaught Gatling cannon is going to fire into the Vicatrix guard over there. These are going to be hitting on threes. All righty then. These are strength. What is it? Strength strength five, so looking for threes to wound. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds. AP minus, uh, what is it? AP minus, well, three up in save anyway, so they don't care. So that's going to be seven, three up armor, uh, three up in saves. Ooh, one second. All right, so here we go. Three up saves. Uh, failing three of them. All right, so now the regular iron hail into them as well. Three shots. That is going to be two hits. That is going to be two, uh, no, uh, strength four, right? Not strength five. So that's going to be one wound there. 
but nope, fails that save. And then the Iron Hail. That is going to be hitting on fours because of them being not him not being a flyer there. Uh, that's going to be uh, two hits. That is going to be one wound. Three up save. No. And then the Storm Volters into the Bikers. These are going to be hitting on threes, looking for fives to wound. Getting no wounds. And then the Twin Heavy Bolters. That is going to be four hits, fours to wound. That is going to be two wounds, AP minus one. Five ups. Makes one, fails one. And then the Icarus Rocket Pods. One D3 shots. Three shots. There we go. Threes to hit. Uh, fours to hit because it's uh, Icarus. Uh, but strength, strength, uh, threes to wound. Strength seven. So that's going to be two wounds, AP minus one. So five ups again. It makes one, fails one. All right, so into the shooting phase, Gilliman makes the suppressors. Uh, Tigerius is going to make the suppressors minus one to hit here. So we're going to start with one of my Kellermars firing into those suppressors there. So the first set of uh, six shots here hitting on threes now because they're minus one to hit. All righty, so that's going to be five hits. Get another five shots because of that. Uh, okay, hitting on threes, so that's another miss there. So these are all going to be strength four, toughness four as, uh, as well, so looking for fours to wound. That is going to be one, two, three, four at AP minus one, so four four up saves. Failing three of them, that's two damage a piece. So, are they? Yeah, they're two damage a piece. Are they? So that's uh, that squad wiped. So then my other Keller Morphe is going to fire into the uh, inter intercessors there. So six shots hitting on twos on them. That's three misses, of course. Uh, getting three more shots. Getting another miss there. So that's going to be five total hits. Strength four, toughness four, fours to wound. That is going to be one, two, three wounds. AP minus one, so three, four up saves. Uh, failed one, so that's going to be a dick guy. All right, so now my hand flamers here are going to fire into his dude bros there. So it's going to be uh, 10 D6 auto hits. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so 35 hits, strength three, toughness four. So looking for fives to wound. Come back to that. All right, so we've got 11 wounds coming in over here. One, two, three, four, five. So two and a half are dead. All right, so my Primus here is going to fire his uh, needle pistol into uh, those guys over there. Not going to get a hit. And then these guys are going to fire their um, their uh, auto pistols into his intercessors there. So it's going to be hitting on fours. All righty. And then wounding on fives. Getting one, two, three wounds. Three, three up saves. Makes them all. All right, so into the charge phase, he's going to start us off charging into these guys over here. Uh, he has the Amulet of the Void Worm, so you cannot overwatch him. He needs a 9-inch charge to get in. He's not going to make it. All right, so now my aberrants over here are going to start us, are going to continue on here. They're going to charge into his intercessors over here. So we got Overwatch, 10 shots, hitting on sixes, getting two hits. Uh, these are going to be, um, oh, reroll the one because they're within 12 inches of Gilliman over there. So, yep. Nope, so that's two hits. Strength four, toughness five now. So that's five to wound. One wound, AP minus one. AP minus two. All right, so that's, gonna go, uh, that's not a save there. So then they've got a uh, five up, uh, feel no pain. Nope, so one of them will take a wound there. So now they are nine inches away from them. They get plus one inch to the charge because of the uh, uh, abominant taking the uh, Warlord Trait Field Commander there from the Vigilance Detachment there, so giving them, looking for an 8-inch because of that, and then the Clamavis gives them an additional one, so looking for a 7-inch charge to get in. And they'll be in with a 10. All right, so now my uh, my uh, Acolytes here are going to charge into his Intercessors and his Leviathan, and my opponent's going to spend 2 CP uh, for defensive, what is it, defensive... Defensive focus, which will allow uh, three units within six inches of his Leviathan there to fire Overwatch with them, which is pretty gross. So we'll come back to you with that. All right, so we're gonna start with the Intercessors, then the Leviathan will also shoot, and the Repulsor will shoot, and Gilliman will shoot, and uh, the Bikers over here will shoot. I thought he was awoken up by Eldar, not Tau. Ridiculous, these Xenos it feels like. So we're gonna start with the Intercessors over here. So we've got eight shots uh, from the Intercessors that are gonna be coming in over here with their bolt rifles. Hitting on uh, sixes, re-rolling because of Gilliman, right? Isn't it all, or is it only during the shooting phase? It's at all shots, so hitting on sixes. So that's still gonna be, uh, there's gonna be two hits there. 
So these are going to be looking for strength four, toughness three, threes to wound. That is two wounds, AP minus two on those, right? So that's just gonna go straight through. So now the Leviathan's gonna fire his 20 shots. He's outside of range for the Flamer, so it's just gonna be the 20 shots from uh, that is gonna be coming in here. So it's gonna be 20 shots, hitting on sixes, rerolling everything because of Gilliman. Sixes, come back to you. And the reroll, getting a bunch more. So that's gonna be five total hits, wounding on twos. That is all but one wound, all rerolling ones because of Gilliman. So that's gonna be five dead guys. And now the biker squad over there is gonna fire sixes. And then reroll. Getting an additional couple hits. All right, wounding on threes. Uh, rerolling that one. Oh no, they're not with it. Are they within? Yeah, they're within six over there, sure. All right, so that's gonna be three wounds over here. These are looking for five up armor saves. Making one of them. Tactical Doctrine's in effect, so that's gonna be AP minus one, so that's gonna be three dead. Now Gilliman's gonna be firing his shots. That's getting one hit, but re-rolling because of himself. Getting one hit. Looking for a strength, what is it? Strength six, so looking for two to wound. That is a minus wound. Two. Minus two, that's another dead guy. All right, so now uh, the Repulsor's gonna fire. We're gonna go with the Onslaught Gatling Cannon and the Twin Heavy Bolters at the same time. So these are just gonna all be here hitting on uh, sixes. All right. And now this is also gonna be uh, re-rolling. All right. All right, and these are gonna be strength five, so wounding on threes. Rerolling that one. All right, so that's gonna be three, six, right? At AP minus one. So I need six, six up saves. And with that complete fail there, the squad is wiped in Overwatch. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now my Abominant is going to attack into his intercessors here. Three attacks hitting on fours. Uh, it's going to be one hit, wounded on a two. That is uh, wound, AP minus two. Um, AP minus two, so you still have a five. Or AP minus three, so you got a six up save. No, so that's going to be minimum, minimum of three, so one of those intercessors is dead. All right, so now my Aberrants are going to attack into his dude bros over here. So we've got two attacks each with the picks, guys. Uh, these are with the picks. These are going to be hitting on threes. All right, pretty good. And then each of those sixes, so all four of those sixes count as two attacks, two hits because of the um, because of the abominant that's over there. These are now going to be strength six because of twisted helix. These are going to be hitting, uh, wounding on um, what should we call it? Wounding on threes. All righty, well, was not great. And then these are going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at AP minus two. So we got eight, uh, eight, eight five up saves, uh, failing all but one of them. So that's minimum is D three damage. So, so what is that? So you made one save. So you got one, two, three are dead. Uh, well, let me just roll. So, the first, the first one's dead. Uh, second one is dead. So that's gonna be the third one dead. And then I got three more to go. So yeah, that is all four on that squad dead. And then they consolidate in here, wrapping into his bikes. All right, so now his bikers are gonna attack into my uh, aberrants over here. So these are gonna be um, looking for uh, threes to hit. Rerolling because of Gilliman over there. All righty, all but one hit. These are gonna be strength four. Uh, so looking for fives to wound because they're tough five because of the uh, biophages. So getting one wound, rerolling that one. Still one wound. So they've got a five up armor save. Nope, five up ignoring wounds. No, one guy's dead. All right, so that's gonna be it for the Gene Stealer Cult turn here on turn two. Uh, at the end of it, my opponent uh, does control two objectives over here because I wasn't quite able to get him off there. He's got more guys within three of that objective, so he'll have that one, and he holds this one over here. Uh, so he will get another point for that, holding more. Uh, and then he will also, um, get uh, more killing since I killed, what, one, two, two units? I only killed two units and he managed to kill four. So another uh, another two points for him there. And we will now uh, come back to you after the movement phase for the Ultramarines here on turn three. All right, movement phase for the Ultramarines here on turn three. Uh, these guys all moved up over this way. The bikers moved up over this way. Uh, these guys kind of shifted around over this way. The bikers over here are stuck in combat because I managed to wrap one of his guys, cannot fall back. So that's gonna be it for the movement phase. Oh, and the uh, Thunderfire Cannon stayed in the back there. So we're gonna back to you after with the psychic phase. 
All right, so now uh, Tigerius here is going to cast Scryer's Gaze. That'll go off on an eight. And then he's gonna cast Telepathic Assault onto my Aberrants over here. So on a 12, that will go off, and I cannot deny because he's plus one there. Um, so he'll take D3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. All right, so 2D6 plus two. So seven, so it's gonna be two mortal wounds onto my guys over there. They've got five up, ignoring wounds. Ignoring one. All right, so now his repulsor is gonna start us off in the shooting phase. He's gonna fire his uh, twin laser, or not, not twin, what is it, laser destroyer? Laser destroyer into my, uh, into my patriarch. He's going to put uh, the heavy bolter into my primus, and he is going to fire everything else into my uh, acolytes over there. So what do you wanna start with first? We're gonna start with the big gun first. So it's gonna be four shots since he didn't move, or didn't, or counts as not moving since it's a tactical doctrine. All right, so that's gonna be two hit. Are we rolling because of uh, Gilliman there? So that's gonna be two, uh, three hits. Strength 10, so looking for twos to wound. So that's gonna be three wounds. AP minus a bajillion. So that's gonna be three, uh, three five up in vol saves. Making none of them. Oh, boy, one second. All right, so I'm actually gonna to try to pass off uh, these with uh, unquestioning loyalty. So we'll do the first one onto the Keller, onto the um, the Klamavis over there. Yep, that'll pass off. So he's dead. One of them is taken care of. Then onto my Primus. No, does not. Um, and then we'll try, so then that's gonna be D6 wounds, right? No. So D6 wounds onto him over here. Well, no, I'm gonna do it in a row, because I wanna see. Six, so he's dead anyway. So yeah, boop. And that is Slay the Warlord. And then the Twin Heavy Bolter into my Primus over here. That one was already there, so they can take that away. That one, yeah, that one was already there, so. All right, hitting on uh, twos, re-rolling. That's good. These are gonna be strength five, hitting on threes, re-rolling. Uh, strength five, so looking for threes to wound. One, two, three, four, five. AP minus one. Yep. So he's got a four up armor save, so five ups. Making three of them, so he's still alive. Like Never mind, he's got a five up save. AP minus one means he is dead. And now the onslaught Gatling Cannon is gonna fire into my Acolytes over here. It's gonna be 12 shots. Hitting on threes. Reroll. All right, all hits here. Strength uh, five, so looking for threes to wound. All right, so let's uh, reroll that one. So that is gonna be 11 wounds there. These are AP what? One. AP minus one, so we'll come back to that. All right, so we've got 11 six up saves. Made one of them. That 10 is enough to kill that squad. All right, so now my opponent's gonna spend the CP for double firing this Thunderfire Cannon into my uh, other Patriarch over here. So, so half and he's gonna spend one more CP to half his movement and charges and all that fun stuff. So we'll do it, we have to do, have to do it one at a time, right? So we'll do the first one set first, because that doesn't happen on the second one. So that's gonna be three, six, seven, eight, nine shots here. Uh, so this is gonna be hitting on twos. That's all but one hit there, and these are gonna be strength five. So toughness five, looking for uh, fours to wound. Getting one wound, AP minus one, right? Yes. So it's looking for a four up save. Cause he's got the uh, amulet of void worm. Nope, that's gonna fail. I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll that. Nope, back into a two. Wah, wah. He was moving on, um, he was wounding on uh, fives, but he did get it there. So here comes the second set of shots into him over there. So that's gonna be two, four, six, eight shots. Hitting on twos. All right, wounding on, uh, these aren't affected by the Thunderfire shells, right? So these are gonna be uh, wounding on fours. So that's gonna be three wounds there. Three, four up saves, because he's got that Amulet of the Void Worm. Uh, making them all, woo! All right, so into the assault phase, Gilliman's gonna charge into my Aberrants over there. He'll be in with a six. So now Tigerius is gonna charge in as well. Six may make it Seven. In. And the Vigatrix Guard as well, he's in. Actually, Vigatrix Arc doesn't make it in because he can't quite get it. He'd have to go around Gilliman over here. All, all right, so starting out the fight phase, Tigerius is going to go here. So he's got five attacks here, hitting on threes, re-rolling because of Gilliman. All right, so that's four hits. These are strength four? Seven. Strength seven? Okay, strength seven. So looking for threes to wound. 
That is going to be two wounds. Oh, re-rolling ones, that's of course. Uh, so that's going to be three wounds, AP. Minus three. AP minus three, so this is going to go straight through. So D3 done, so we have to do it one at a time. So the first one is doing three wounds, which becomes two wounds. Five up, ig uh, ignoring wounds. Uh, nope, so that's going to be that dead guy over there. Then the next one is two, which becomes one. And I feel that, and the third one is three, which becomes two. And I ignore both of those. Woo! All right, so I'm going to spend two CP to interrupt over here. So I'm going to have one guy going into Tigerius, three guys into Gilliman, and then these other three guys are going to go into the biker. So we're going to go with the one guy into Tigerius first, who's got two attacks with the pick, hitting on threes. That's going to be two hits. Uh, wounding on uh, threes. That's going to be one wound, AP minus two. So five up save. No, fails it. Uh, D3 damage. Three damage, so Tigerius is dead. They're going to have six atta uh, pick attacks into Gilliman over there. Hitting on threes. That is going to be uh, one, two, three, four hits, but that six becomes another one, so that's five hits. Uh, strength six, toughness four. Oh, no, strength toughness six, so looking for fours to wound. That is going to be one, two, three wounds at AP minus two. Three. AP minus two, two wounds. Three. AP minus one. Three up in bowl saves. Fails one of them, so that's going to be D3 damage. That's going to be one damage. And then they're going to have six attacks with their rending claws as well. That is going to be all but one hit, plus one because of that six there. These are going to be AP minus four. These are going to be AP minus, oh, he's got three up in bowl save anyway. So he'll have uh, at least AP minus one. So it's going to be five three up saves. So strength six with their claws? Strength six with their claws. Ooh. Yeah. The picks are strength user. So Twisted Helix uh, Aberrants are pretty good here. So these are looking for three up in bowl saves. Uh, failed one of them, takes a wound. And then I got the two guys, regular guys, into the bikes over here with their picks. That's going to be uh, three hits. These are going to be strength six, so threes to wound. That is going to be uh, two wounds at AP minus two. Six, up. six ups. They got four up armor saves, right? So one's going to be do D3 damage on that. So that's going to be three damage, so that's a dead biker there. And then we've got their rending claw attacks. That is going to be all hits, one of them being a six, so getting an additional hit there. Wounding on threes. Uh, so that's going to be one, two wounds at AP minus one. So two five up saves. Uh, makes one, fails one, one takes a wound. And then the hypermorph into the bikers there. Six attacks, hitting on threes. That is going to be uh, three hits, but two of them are sixes. So that's going to be five total hits. Wounding on twos. That is going to be one, two, three, four, four at AP minus one. So four um, five ups. Making them all. That's how you do that one, Greg. And then his attack with the hypermorph tail. That's going to be a hit. That is not going to be a wound. All right, so now Gilliman is going to attack back over here. He's going to have seven attacks on the charge. So he's going to be hitting on twos, re-rolling because of himself. Okay, that's going to be all hits. Strength, what is it? Strength eight. So looking for um, looking for threes to wound because they are strength toughness five here. So, all right. So that's going to be one, two, three. So one takes a mortal wound, right? D three mortal wound. D three mortal wound. So in, this, in addition to it, right? So additional two mortal wounds there. So we'll do those, ignoring on five ups. Uh, ignored one of them, take one of them. So this guy will be dead. And then we've got, what is this? Five at AP minus four. four. So this is gonna go straight through their armor. What's the damage on these? Three, so we take Three a damage a piece, so it becomes two damage a piece. So, we'll, uh, so there's five of them there, so we'll do one at a time. Uh, ignore both of the first one. Ignore one of the second one. Ignore none of the third one, so that's gonna be two dead guys. Fourth one, ignoring one, and ignoring none. So that's gonna be another guy dead, so three dead guys. And then the bikers are gonna attack back. That is going to be uh, three hits, re-rolling because of Gilliman. All right, all but one hit. Looking for uh, fives to wound. Getting one wound. What is that? The one? What is it? Oh, the wound to wound. Uh, no armor save, but I do ignore the wound. 
All right, so my guys over here uh, need to take a leadership test. I lost five this round. Five plus five is 10. That's the rest of the squad running away because of leadership over there. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll that. Into a six. <laughs> Phil face, you fickle mistress, you. All right, so that's gonna be it for the uh, Ultramarines turn here on turn three. We will come back to you after movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult on turn three. All right, movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cult. This guy stayed back over here. These guys shuffled around over this way. My Abominate moved up over this way. The other guy's back over there. The, the, the Biophagus and the Clamavis just kind of moved up. He stood still back where he was. He's within 12 inches over here. And then he moved up there. He moved in advance, but uh, everything was half, so he ended up moving just seven inches up there, uh, but getting hopefully just outside of two inches. So. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so that's going to be it for the uh, that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, we start off with a big one. He's going to try to mind control the repressor again, or repulsor again. That's going to go off on an eleven. All right, so his main gun is going to fire into the Leviathan. Uh, the onslaught Gatling cannon is going to fire into those guys, and everything else is going to fire into these guys. So we're going to go with the main gun first. Four shots hitting on threes. That is going to be all hits. Wounding on threes. That is going to be uh, two there. One second. Down to one CP. All right, so my opponent spent one CP for um, uh, basically having the damage done to the, the dreadnought here. Uh, so it's but there's two wounds that go are two wounds there. So it's going to be his uh, invul saves four ups makes both of them. And now the twelve shots from the uh, onslaught Gatling cannon into them. Oh, hitting on threes. Getting four hits. That seems statistical. Uh, strength five, so three's the wound. One wound, AP minus one. Yep, he makes a save. Heavy bolter into these guys over here. Alrighty, and these are strength five again. That is gonna be one, two, three wounds. AP minus one, so three, four ups. Making, failing two, so one guy's dead. And then we've got the, um, the iron hail. Getting one hit, not getting a wound. Icarus Iron Hails, those are hitting on fours. Getting no wounds. Eight Storm Bolter Shots. And Force Wound, getting one, two, three, four wounds. Three up saves, makes them all. And D3 Shots with the Icarus. Getting two shots here. These are going to be hitting on fours again because it's Icarus and they're not flying. Oh, two fill faces. That'll be hits. Wounded on threes. That is two wounds. AP one. minus one, so four ups. Uh, failing of both. So that's going to be, what's the damage on those? One. one each, so that's going to be one dead guy. All right, so now my Megas here is going to cast Smite. That is going to go off with a five, so it's going to do D3, dam uh, D3 mortal wounds. Doing uh, two mortal wounds, killing one of those guys. And then he's going to cast Mental Onslaught. That's going to go off with a 9. So, uh, my leadership, what's your leadership over here? 9. 9, mine is also 9, so we just have a dice roll off. Alright, so you will take a Mortal Wound. And we'll continue from there. A 4 to a 4, you tied me, so it is just going to be the one Mortal Wound. Alright, so now into the uh, shooting phase. My uh, Kelomorph over here is going to fire into Gilliman. So it's going to be uh, 6 shots hitting on 2s. That is going to be all hits. So I'm going to have another six shots coming in over here. That is going to be uh, two misses there. These are all going to be strength four, so looking for fives to wound. That is one, two, three, uh, four, five at AP minus uh, one. So five three up saves. Failing one of them takes two damage. And now the second one's going to fire into him. All but one hit. Again, all hits there, so it's me 10 hits. Looking for fives. Getting one, two, three wounds this time. AP minus one, so three up saves. Yeah, just three, three up saves. Three, three, three up saves. Fails one, two damage. All right, so that's gonna be it for the uh, shooting phase into the assault phase. Uh, my Dubro over there is gonna charge into Gilliman, so Overwatch from Gilliman. Sixes, re-rolling because of himself. Nope, one hit there. So that's gonna be strength what? Six. Six, so one second. All right, so three to wound. 
That is a wound, AP. Two. Minus two, so that's gonna go straight through his armor. Damage is two, so reduced down to one because he's a uh, abominant. And ignored on that filth phase, woo! And here comes his charge. He's in. And now my uh, patriarch over here is gonna charge in. We talked about this. I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll one of those. For the four, he makes it in. Oh, geez. All right, and because my opponent uh, has the uh, Gilman as his warlord, his warlord trait allows them to heroically intervene, and they're going to do so right there. All right, so my abominant here is going to attack into Gilliman. He's got three attacks. These are going to be hitting on uh, fours. <sighs> oh. All right, so here comes his attacks over here into his um, into his uh, tech marine. So that's going to be all but two hits. These are going to be uh, wounding on threes, strength six. Okay, so that's going to be uh, two wounds. This one's AP minus six um, and three flat damage. Uh, oh, and he's only got three wounds left, so he is dead. All right, so now Gilliman's going to attack back over here. He's got seven attacks that he's going to be coming in with. These are going to be hitting on twos, re-rolling because of himself. All right, no need to re-roll. These are going to be strength, what is it? Eight, so looking for threes to wound. That is all but two wounds. So that's going to be five AP enough to go through the armor there. Oh, D3 mortal wounds on one of them. So that's going to be two mortal wounds. I ignore one of them, so I take one. Um, and then we've got uh, five saves, AP minus three. So this is going to go sh AP minus four. So this is going to go straight through his armor. So what's the damage? Two damage a piece. So they become three. Oh, is three damage a piece, but become two damage a piece. So that's going to be uh, 10, uh, basically 10 wounds that I have to try to ignore over here. Looking for fives and sixes. No, I've made three of them. So he is dead. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, so that's gonna be it for the Gene Stealer cult turn here on turn three. And that's where we're gonna call it. I've only got a few models left that he's just gonna clean up on his shooting phase. Cause the, it's all characters now, so we can just shoot them um, uh, with uh, abandon and kill him off there. So a, uh, a decisive victory for the Ultramarines. Gilliman coming in and showing these workers uh, what's for and showing them that uh, you do not go against the Imperium. So a uh, brutal, brutal game really shows you, man, that Overwatch that killed my 16 man squad in Overwatch, that was killer. <laughs> that was killer. That was awesome to see the abilities that they have to, to do that. So, um, but my, my aberrants did pretty well until uh, Gilliman just smote him and then my abominant does what my abominant usually does which is uh fail me um, emotionally so <laughs> but uh, i still had a ton of fun it's always fun to throw some dice with some friends um and just have a good time so i hope you guys have all enjoyed this i certainly have i've been phil the glacial geek as always my opponent's been greg and until next time have fun